When you don't pay enough attention, it's easy to be swept away by the pomp of heavyweight boxing that you'll overlook the brutal dogs hitting hard in the lower weight divisions. And right here in the cesspit, when you get cocky, you get served. Can you believe Emmanuel Rodriguez disrespects the father of the Japanese boxing sensation, Naoya Inoue? In the heat of the moment, the Puerto Rican takes matters into his own hands and disrespects the father of the bantamweight, finest fighter. What happens when you get cocky with the bantamweight's jaw-breaking son of a bloody dog? Long story short, it won't end well, but Emmanuel Rodriguez didn't get the memo. What happened to Rodriguez with everything at stake here? Emmanuel Rodriguez Vasquez is a Puerto Rican professional boxer who has held the IBF bantamweight title since August 2023 and from 2018 to 2019. The 27-year-old El Matador steps into the ring unbeaten in 19 games and hopes to make a meal of the 118-pound Naoya Inoue. But, in but Manny Rodriguez is determined to prove to be equal to the task after making light work of Paul Butler, the former IBF bantamweight champion in 2018, butchering Butler in the first round of the fight by knocking him down twice in the final minute of the first round and dragging him through 11 rounds in a brutal assault that should be illegal. But this is the World Boxing Super Series semifinals, and for all it's worth, everything here is to die for. The vacant bantamweight title awaits the victor to write his name in the book of history. Naoya Inoue also steps into the ring undefeated and will be hoping to extend his streak to 18-0, and right here in SSE Hydro, Glasgow, Scotland, the Japanese boxer will be hoping to stake his claim as the greatest fighter in the world pound for pound. The arena is packed, fans are wild, and we witness great Japanese support for the first time in Britain, a class act rated the biggest pound-for-pound -pound puncher in world boxing today. Inoue is an unreal fighter, fantastic and inspiring, and every pair of eyeballs looked forward to seeing him in the flesh. So this is for the right to fight for the Muhammad Ali Trophy. Here it is, the D-Day. 18th of May, 2019 where undefeated champions El Matador and the Monster smash their way through to glory. But with Inoue and Rodriguez ranked number one and number three, respectively, editor-in-chief Doug Fisher noted that the fight deserved the title because both had earned their spots in the rankings. Rodriguez started coming forward on the back foot, which is pretty interesting. Rodriguez stepped forward and got that jab in his right hand in a way that concentrated all business with an 88% knockout ratio. He's won all 17-15 knockouts and hasn't needed to fight that many rounds. It doesn't matter. It's not good. He's a small man knocking people out for sports, so I'm excited to see what he brings tonight. But Rodriguez is his most challenging and effective deal. It's almost a macho battle in these first 35, 40 seconds. It's a real thing of beauty that gets so much leverage. And that's, I think, why he's got the knockout ratio that he has a very, very dangerous puncher. Took an excellent counter there from Manny Rodriguez. The Japanese crowd around him got very excited about that last minute opening round. They could not have enough of the high octane swashbuckling blockbuster showdown. It's been fascinating and furious. Heavy bombs have landed already. He landed a good left hook, but Rodriguez has the air of a man used to being on his feet. And as we anticipated in the build-up to the fight, there is no apprehension at all from Rodriguez, and he's done well in this opening round. To remind you, two unbeaten world champions collide for the right to meet in the final. Inoue's animated corner, a vast support staff within a big Japanese media contingent. He's a hero in their country, a real-life anime superhero, and he knows it. Now that's a right hand that's shifted more than a few joints. Oh Lord, the speed and power of those punches from Inoue, and there's a right hand got him too, in a way. This is a fearsome flurry. The monsters got him on the left, and El Matador is down for the first time in his career. He'll take the eight count in the corner above us, dust down, and be ready to go against Rodriguez. Here comes in a way. Oh, oh, what a shot. Rodriguez surely won't take much more than that. Indeed, Rodriguez is shaking it. Punches rocks to the core, another count. 
It's over. Lights out for the Puerto Rican champion. Inoue strikes again like Mike Tyson. No one can stand in his way. Devastating. The last thing you want is his fist in your face. The Japanese phenomenon has been a nightmare for Puerto Rican champion Manny Rodriguez. Naoya Inoue hit him right on the chin with unbelievable power for 118 pounds, not completely undeserved when you disrespect Inoue's father. The monster's coming off the demolition jobs of a couple of world champions. I'm just looking at Rodriguez's face. I mean, that is proper pain. He's hurt. And he did well to get up there after he stopped the fight, but he wanted to continue. But ladies and gentlemen, at 1 minute and 19 seconds of round number 2, referee Michael Alexander steps in and calls a halt to the contest. Therefore, the winner is progressing to the WBSS final, and the new IBF bantamweight champion of the world is Nanya Inoue. This destructive fighter will remain the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the business right now. Rodriguez lost his unbeaten streak while Inoue had said all that needed to be heard. With his fist! He's a great, great fighter with immense power, astounding intelligence, and impeccable awareness. Naoya Inoue is one step closer to the Muhammad Ali trophy. He just booked a date at the finals with Nonito Donaire in Japan's super arena, Saitama. They call him the Filipino Flash, and Donair is one of a select few Asian boxers to win world titles in at least four weight classes. Nayoya Inoue would seek to exploit that home advantage with every punch he's got because, at Saitama, he will need every bit of Hulk rage to live up to the one-punch man. Check out our video on why Naoya Inoue is the scariest monster in sports history. Stay tuned.